Hi. Let's learn about holding period return. Holding period return is the total return received from holding an asset or portfolio of assets over a period of time, known as the holding period. It is generally expressed as a percentage and is particularly useful for comparing returns on investments purchased at different periods in time. Holding period return is calculated on the basis of total returns from the asset or portfolio. It is particularly useful for comparing returns between investments held for different periods of time. The holding period begins the day after the securities acquisition and ends at its disposal or sale, determining tax implications. Holding period return and annualized HPR for returns over multiple years can be calculated using a specific formula. Returns computed for regular time periods such as quarters or years can also be converted to a holding period return. The example provides real-life examples to demonstrate how to calculate HPR for different investments. It includes scenarios with stock, mutual funds, and portfolio returns, and illustrates the concept of annualized HPR. Yes, the holding period return is pretty much the same as the rate of return. They both tell us, in percentage terms, how much an investment made or lost during the period it was held. Holding period return is important because it considers not only appreciation but also income payments. It is a great way to compare the performance of investments held over different time frames. Holding period means the time a security was held for, starting from its purchase until its sale. Yes, holding period return can be negative, especially when the investment depreciates in value and does not generate a profit. Knowing the holding period return makes it easier to compare returns between investments, particularly for those held for different periods of time. Here are three key takeaways. 1. Holding period return, or yield, is the total return earned on an investment during the time that it has been held. 2. A holding period is the amount of time the investment is held by an investor, or the period between the purchase and sale of a security. 3. Holding period return is useful for making like comparisons between returns on investments purchased at different periods in time. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.